Welcome to Global Heroes. Before we dive into today's article, remember to follow us, subscribe to our newsletter, and get free access to all our issues straight into your inbox. Artistic director Wayne Mengisha sets the stage for diverse stories. By Vanessa Grant. Wayne Mengisha tells the stories we don't often hear. As one of the first black artistic directors of a major theater company who's directed hit plays like De Kink in My Hair and Kim's Convenience, she's spent her career shining the theatrical spotlight on stories by and about people of color. We live in a city where we celebrate our diversity, but people don't often get to speak openly about their lived experiences to one another, Mengisha shared. The theater is a place where we get to hear each other's secrets in the dark. There's an intimacy to theater that creates an ideal temporary community where we're all together, sharing stories. A first-generation Canadian, Mengisha, is the daughter of Ethiopian immigrants who was born in Vancouver and grew up in Scarborough. She was inspired to become an artist when she had trouble reconciling two versions of her home country, the bleak Ethiopia she saw in the news, and the rich culture she experienced first through family tales and later when she traveled there in person. This discrepancy taught me the importance of multiple narratives. And that there's power in story, she explained. This drive to share different perspectives is what motivated Mengisha to work on De Kink, a play by Trey Anthony set in a hair salon that tells black women's personal stories while shedding light on deep topics like racism, homophobia, and police profiling. From writing the lyrics and music because there was no budget to hire anyone else when they started out, to insisting Mervish Productions give the play another shot after they'd already passed on it, Mengisha played an instrumental role in transforming the kink from a one-woman show to an international hit that eventually became a TV show. But rather than looking at the kink's success as a one-off, she insists there is strong audience demand for diverse content. I've always felt people were craving more stories from diverse voices. When people told me there's no history of audiences from these communities coming to the theater, I would say, well, of course not, you've never invited them," Mengisha shared. It's like any other home, there needs to be a big enough gesture that welcomes people of color through the doors, because we've felt excluded from certain cultural spaces in the past. Audiences would like to come, but we need some radical gestures to invite them in. Now in a leadership role at Soul Pepper Theater, Mengisha is also making sure there are diverse role models in cultural institutions, something that was lacking when she started out. When I auditioned for theater school, I couldn't find a black Canadian monologue to use, not that one didn't exist, but none were available in my library, she said. This is why I was so determined to work on De Kink and other black Canadian content. Now I want to give back and make sure others feel welcome in cultural spaces. All leaders of institutions, especially in Toronto, have a responsibility to reflect the society we live in. With De Kink returning to Toronto this December for its 20th anniversary in a co-presentation by T.O. Liv and Soul Pepper, Mengisha hopes the play's rest aging sparks important conversations. The art doesn't change, but hopefully we do, Mengisha said. It was important to us to reflect on how far we've come, so Trey didn't do any rewrites to the story. I think that's why people continue to put on classical plays for hundreds of years, it's like a conversation with our ancestors. Hopefully, this play continues to get done and everyone can reflect on how our society has shifted and what work remains to be done. Together we can be heroes. Thank you for being with us. Globalheroes.com